Okay, so um, it's going to be a little grainy. It's it's dark out here. It's eight o'clock at night, pitch black, and I have I always go cheap version. So I've got a couple of lamps, and that's it. I really should get lights, but we're going to work on that later. Um, in the meantime, in my last video, I happened to mention that there was an incident in my studio, and um, that I had lost. At, <laughs> I no longer have an iPad uh, to do live feeds with. Um, and my friend Daniel Horn, who's a fantastic illustrator and sculptor, uh, got a hold of me and he said, I have an old one and I'd like to send it to you, which he did. And this is what I'm recording on right now is Daniel's older iPad. Uh, I got it turned on, got everything running. It, it, I, I'm really, really grateful for it, but it doesn't do live feeds. It's older, so it doesn't have that, it doesn't have that ability. So what we're going to have to do are these videos, um, the ones where I'm not live, not like it really matters, but the ones where um, we're not working in real time together. Um, and you'll have to comment later if you so choose. But I'm very, very grateful to Daniel for that. I have another friend, Shelly Graham, um, Shelly Graham Turner. She oh my God, I'm so sorry, Shelly. Anyway, my friend Shelly, uh, sent me an iPad a few years ago when I was under duress again and just like just beside myself. I had bought an iPad from a friend of mine, a used one, and I had dropped it and dropped it and dropped it and busted it to the point it, it just didn't work anymore. So I bought, um, my friend Shelly sent me one and that's that's what I was working with for a while but it can't, do, it's an older version like this, so I couldn't do live feeds. I did have a newer one, and it did live feeds, and then uh, my world turned upside down, and my guts fell out, and um, <sighs> there we are. So we're trying to move on now. Um, as I said, everything's a little grainy, um, because it is nighttime, but I think I'm going to do a little bit of painting, and we'll see how this goes. I'm going to paint, try and load it. We'll see how it looks, and uh, we just keep going. We just keep moving forward, like Ganesh through a through a forest, you know, plowing things out of our way and just keep moving. Yeah, I got a lot of sh <laughs> we got a lot of shadows. But let's see what we can do. Uh, I was going to. This was originally. Ah, gonna, squeezing out some paint. This was originally going to be a larger port portrait. I have one that I really have been wanting to do. It's a young black girl with a bow, and she's just dressed beautifully, and this look on her face, she's just gorgeous, uh, gorgeous young girl. And I ditched it because I'm not emotionally, um, emotionally I'm not in a place to, um, I don't know how to put it, transmit another person or, I don't know, be a conduit to um, another person, person, and who, uh, who they may have been, which is what I feel my work, a lot of my work is, is I, I'm a little bit of a conduit of people I don't know, and I just try and nail it and get it right and make it connect with the viewer, um, or whomever. Anyway, obviously viewers, uh, but so I've scratched that idea, and now I'm gonna, now I'm doing, um, now I'm doing an abstract, and it's, I haven't done an abstract in a while, but what you're seeing are just the first few layers. I have put no aerosol, oh no, I had aerosol on, well I knew what I was going to do. I had four figures, four male figures in, in bathing suits, but um, that was when I was feeling happy. So we scratched that, we went with a girl with a bow in her hair and a nice dress, and she was laid out, and then I went. I'm just, I'm just not in the mood. I need to, I need to paint. I need to paint something else, and work from a very emotional level. The emotional level I'm at now. So I've put down, as you can see, blues, some teals, and oranges. They are not going to stay. <laughs> what I'm doing are laying down the colors. The um, under kind of the underpainting, or the underpainting on top of two other paintings. And what's going to happen is eventually this is going to have reds on it. And how I paint and the materials I use when I paint 
um, they allow they allow light to go through the color red go down to the oranges and yellows that I'm laying down and bounce back out and they glow and then the same thing happens with the teals the teals glow and then the certain blues that I like to use with with my with my mediums they glow so that's what I'm looking forward to um, I'm actually thinking about naming this after Ganesha's mother. <laughs> what, what a little bit of a messed up kitten she was, but no more messed up than, uh, than Shiva. Wow. Cut off the head of his son. <laughs> Cut off the head of his son, and Mom got mad. Okay, here's the story of Ganesh. Ganesh was born... Ganesh was born, and his mother brought him up to be her protector. And one day, she said, I'm going to go take a bath. And she's taking a bath. She says, Ganesh, you stand outside. Don't let your father in. Don't let anyone in. So she's taking a little bath. This is my understanding. She's taking a little bath. Ganesh's father demands to see her while she's in the bathtub because he can't wait five minutes. Ganesh says, no way, Dad. Mommy said, no. So Shiva got mad, pulled out his three-pronged thingamabob, and whacked off his son's head. <laughs> Who thinks up this stuff? Anyway, whacked off his son's head. Mom heard this, got out of the bathtub, went, you, you, you killed my baby boy. You know, what is wrong with you? Fix this. <laughs> I love this story. Shiva, you're going to fix this. <laughs> or no more nookie for you. I don't understand. So Shiva went uh, went and found, the, uh, cut off the head of the first animal he saw walking by, which happened to be an elephant. You know, took his head off, stuck it on his son son's body. The son came to life, and the son is now Ganesh. Uh, Ganesh clears the pathway um, to wisdom, success, um, to many good things. And he's someone, I'm actually wearing him around my neck. So all day, every day, I'm reminded to clear my own path. And, uh, <laughs> or I try to, in the most clumsy, awkward, and sometimes um, wrong-headed way possible. But I keep trying. You know, keep trying, keep growing, keep learning. So I've got Ganesh on my, I've got, you know, this, Dr. Moreau figure on my chest reminding me to uh, to keep moving forward with his four to eight or however many hands he has with as many symbols and all that. Um, just keep moving forward. But I have a path visualized. So, but what I'm looking at behind me is, um, or what I'm feeling behind me, sort of, is... I think the moment that, you know, the missus got out of the bathtub and went, what the F is wrong with you? Fix this. Bring my baby boy back to life. And uh, I, I think that's kind of where I am in, in the realm of things. Everything, everything I'd been working for for the past, not everything, but a lot of things I've been working for uh, for the past year came to an end in this space the day after Christmas. So, like I said, not everything, but a lot of things came to an end. And um, it's mind-boggling to me. Uh, so now I have to figure out how to get the elephant head on the baby body and <laughs> make a life, make a life come back to life. And uh, so, there we are. What was, oh my God, I know her name, and I had it in my pocket, too. Now I can't remember her name. Oh, it's there. I've known, I've known it forever. Anyway, I'm going to get to work on Mommy getting out of the bathtub and getting pissed. And uh, you do whatever you have to do, and hopefully, hopefully this iPad can hold... Um, a fairly lengthy video. If not, I'm just going to shorten this down and post it so y'all can see what's going on. Okay? We'll do our best. We're going to try Studio Mate, but no promises here. 
Again, this is an older iPad, and I'm just lucky to have it. Okay, let's get to work. I'm going to put something on to listen to. Oh, Ganesh. Poor thing. Can you imagine chopping your son's head off and sticking it on? I'm talking, chopping your head's son off and going, Hey, elephant, you look great on my son's body. Men are weird. Men are very weird. Oh. I think... Oh, Support for this podcast yes. and the following message come from Ripple Foods. Okay, I'm putting on fresh air. Hopefully it won't be too loud because I don't want this pulled off YouTube if it ever goes out. Oh, also, you might hear people walking by and some traffic because I have my garage door open. So this was supposed to be cadmium orange. I went I went to the art supply store today and somehow they were out of cadmium orange. So it's a weird orange, but it's an orange and it'll build up to red. red. Let's see what we can do. Sorry if I'm blocking anything. Oh, God, that's not going to work. I'm going to move the light. It's right in my way. I think I'm liking this orange better. This is, um, what I'm using is a permanent orange, and I'm not, not saying the company's name because they were dickish to me a while ago. But I think I'm liking this orange better than the one I was using, the cadmium. This is going to glow much better.
Okay, so we haven't been working together that long tonight, but it's um, it's probably quarter of nine. I'm not really sure. I'm, a I'm tired and I'm getting really anxious. This is the most time I think I've spent out in my studio in a, in a month or so um, beyond having to clean it up. So I, I, I got to stop and I, it's hard for me to concentrate. Plus it is dark and I have to get up tomorrow and sell ottomans. I go to my job go to my job, excuse me. So I'm going to stop, I'm going to load this, try and load this, and we'll see how it goes, okay? Hopefully, fingers crossed, I'm actually able to load this one and we can start doing Studio Made again on some level, all right? Thanks for hanging in there with me. Uh, we'll see how this mess turns out. I don't know what I'm doing. It's just how I, how I feel. Uh, the impetus be t behind all my paintings is how I feel, you know, or the, the feeling that I try and project. So I'm going to work on this again later, but right now I got to, nope, sometimes you just got to stop, okay? So it's that time. Anyway, uh, yeah, thanks, okay? Ciao.